Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this video, we are going to be checking out Not Stocks, Trish the Troopy. Now, this is based on a Land Cruiser troop carrier, and it's actually got a lot of really interesting features built into it, even though there isn't a ton of customization apart from, like, wheels and stuff like that, but we'll get to that a little bit later. The actual configuration that comes as standard is pretty stout, and what I've done is I've brought it out here to Remo's Tough Truck map to test it out and see what it can do, but before we get it out onto any obstacles, we're going to walk it through the customization. Now, if you would like to just see the driving and you're not interested in the customization, you can skip ahead a few minutes and you should be good to go. But let's go ahead and actually, you know what? I was going to uh, I was going to recover it into the garage, but instead, I am going to fire it up and let y'all hear it cuz it sounds sick. Listen to this. has a very authentic Toyota diesel sound. So now, let's go ahead and jump into the garage. And engines-wise, we have one option, the 1HZ. Then we have one gearbox option, the H55F 5-speed. Suspension-wise, we've got an 80-series coil swap. And by the way, this is also running 80-series axles. And then we also have a pretty wide selection of 37-inch tires. Um, I'm going to let you all read through this list of tires yourselves. I'm not going to call out the name of every single tire uh, because a lot of these tires will already be familiar to y'all. But really, I don't think you're going to have any... I don't think you're going to you're gonna run into any issues with, oh, they don't have a tire that I like because there are so many freaking tire options that it'd be really, really, really hard to find a tire in this list that you didn't like. I really like these Ridge Grapplers, but I also like the uh, the Milestar Patagonias. So I think we're going to go with a set of 37-inch Patagonias. Now, let's see. Winch-wise, you get one option, which I'm sure is very well done, very well built. I'm not really worried about um, like switching that out or having other options for that. Diff wise, we've got ARB air lockers and frame add on wise, we also have a Motop tent, which I believe is the well, actually, hold on. Now that's not up there. So let me actually rotate the camera. Oh, I see. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the tent. And then let's see, we've got a pretty decent selection of wheels as well. A lot of these wheels that y'all may recognize from, you know, other various vehicles and various builds. But let's see, we do have also this standard troopy rim here. I think what I may do is I think I'll do... Oh, I really like the methods. The methods look really good. Like, really, really good. I think I'm going to do... Oh, I'm so torn. You know what? I'm going to send it. I'm going to do the methods. The methods look really, really sick. So now... There's really, like I said before, not much customization to go through, so now we can fire it up and get it out on the trails. I don't think I'll ever tire of that startup sound. That startup sound is so good, and it's so, like, I don't know, it's so authentically Land Cruiser. So now, we can actually get this thing onto some obstacles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it through this obstacle course here. We're not gonna time it or anything, but we are gonna see what it's like on the obstacle course because the cool thing about taking it through an obstacle course is that it gives us the opportunity to try it out on a lot of different obstacles without necessarily having to go through a super long trail system. Like, this obstacle course throws a bunch of different, you know, characters of obstacles at you in a very short amount of time. So it gives you a really good idea of what it can do. Easy. Oh, this thing's not doing too bad at all. It's actually pretty well just walking over this stuff with very little issue. I mean, yes, you are going to be using those rock sliders from time to time, but I mean, you know, why put rock sliders on your rig if you're never going to scrape them up? If you if you put rock sliders on your rig to never scrape them up, then, well, I, I mean, I don't really know what they're for then. Did you just put them there to look at them? Oh, no. Oh, actually, things really well balanced because we got it really, really off center. And I was thinking it was going to be a lot more top heavy than that, but it's actually not too bad. It stayed really well composed. Oh, got the back bumper hung up a little bit, though. Trying to not necessarily do that. But with a rear overhang that long, I feel like that's kind of an inevitable uh, scenario that you're just going to run into from time to time. Now, let's see how it does up these stair steps, because they're pretty gnarly. 
And I don't know if this thing's wheelbase is going to be a fan of these stair-stepping uh, logs or not. So far, though, it has not had a single complaint. This last one's going to be the one, like, if there's one that's going to get to it, this one's going to get to it. Come on, easy. Oh, it is trying so hard. I'm trying to work the steering. I wonder if we can maybe bump it. It is right there. Maybe a little less wheel speed. Is that going to help or hurt or do nothing? I think it's going to do nothing. Oh, it is not happy about this. Okay, hold on. Oh! I'm trying to bump it and hide. And eventually it does make its way up. It slid all the way over to the other end. But that was kind of my only way of doing it without, you know, winching. This is going to be interesting. It's a steep one. I don't know how this one's going to go over, y'all. I I am a little, I'm a little iffy on this. I'll just be ready to give it some throttle. And we're good. Not actually as bad as I thought. Or at least not as bad as I, I had expected it was going to do. Being a, as how steep that freaking is. Woo, easy. I wanted to see how far I could get in high before it started to dig. And right there in the middle, it started to be like, yeah, I'm not having any of your shenanigans anymore. We're going to start digging. And I'm like, well, okay. Let's, let's kind of not, shall we? Oh. Having the lockers on definitely help. Well, I, I was going to say it definitely helps until I got a lot more stuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Make your way up the edge. And there you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, now we're going to go down Ooh, these little narrow bridge sections. Easy. We're good. And I think it... Oh. I, I thought the... Um, I thought the diffs were gonna get happy again, uh, but they, they did not. They were like, oh, no, you're overheating us. You're continuing to overheat us. Unlock us, please. And I'm like, well, I guess. Now this, it should cruise right through, no problem. However, the notch is gonna be a challenge for sure. I'm gonna hang to the right. Just kind of try to walk it. As long as we can, ooh, we can keep it oriented the way we want without flipping it over. Oh no, we're down in the notch now, but I think we'll be okay. Come on, there it is. Wow, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's make our way up. You know what? That's really impressive that it didn't get high centered, considering the fact that it's on 37s and not like 42s. You gotta give it throttle at the exact right moment to get it to not, like, you know, roll end over end coming down something that steep. No, I did not want to attach a winch. I wanted to unlock my dips, which, ironically enough, I kind of needed to relock them again for this. Yes, I know. Every time it flattens out, it gets mad. Uh, yep, right, like, right there. I guess I don't need the block for this. And boom. And just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and climb this hill climb right here at the end. Oh, high range of this thing is spicy. Let's go. Things nuts. Oh, yep, and that's fine. <laughs> I was about to say that's the end of that, but... It isn't, because it was completely 100% fine. And now, before we wrap up, we're going to recover back to the garage one more time, because I want to see, even though it'll probably be a bit out of this thing's element, I want to throw it at the, uh, at the Baja track. Now, we're not going to do the whole Baja track, because that's not what this thing is designed for, but just to kind of entertain my curiosity, um, I want to see what happens when we lock this thing in high and send it down the Baja track. Again, I am well aware that that's not what this thing was designed for or intended for, but my curiosity, I, 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 I can't tell my curiosity to shut up on this one. I am just too curious, and I must know. And so far, it's actually doing really, really well. I mean, you definitely feel how top-heavy it is when it's at speed, but it's a freaking Land Cruiser Troopy with a rooftop tent on the top of it. I mean, it's tall. It's, it's 
going to have a very high center of gravity. And so with that in mind, it actually kind of performs as expected. Now, does it have a lot more grip than I expected? Yeah. Is it a lot faster than I expected? Yeah. It's, it's, it's by a lot faster than I expected. Oh. But you know what? The suspension setup is really good. It actually has some good high-speed damping. Woo! Until it gets into, like, gnarly whoops, like, trophy truck stuff, and then it's like, yeah, I wasn't built for this. I was built for trails. What are you doing? All right, gap jump, and yoink. Oh, it, it like, went double the distance of the gap jump. Now we got to keep it together through this stuff. Oh, no. I just want to see if we can do the massive jumps on the other side. That's the part that I'm really excited about. No, 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 no. Because if I flip it here and I end this, ooh, end this journey early, I would really prefer to not do that. Come on, up and over. Let's go. I got to tell you, this thing in full send mode is a blast. It's like it definitely keeps you on your toes because I've already almost flipped it like five different times. But, but it's not necessarily in a way where it's frustrating, but more so in a way where it's like it's engaging, if that makes sense. I mean, some people might consider that frustrating either way, and that just probably comes down to like a preference thing. But still. All right, we're almost into the bigger part of the track. Up and over. I am just continually mind blown at how well this thing does in the air. That is so hilarious. All right, up the hill. Stick with it. Woo, we almost flipped it. Come on. All right, we're getting close to the bigger stuff now. I'm surprised I was able to keep it in high and not stall it for that. Woo. Okay, we're good. Now, this is where things get actually genuinely nuts because we got to go through the excuse me tree yeah we got to go through these big downhill banked s's and now we get into the bigger jumps this is what i really want to see i bent the antenna holy crap that takes effort okay we almost flipped it there landed a little sideways but that was on me not it oh perfect perfect Again, I ask, how is it handling this so well? It was not designed for this. But I I struggle to believe that it wasn't at least tested in a similar environment because it is it is that good. Oh. Okay, almost catastrophe, but we did make it. And almost there. This stuff is nuts. Like Y'all, this should not be doing this stuff this well. And that is where we're going to finish this one. Look, I bent the freaking antenna. Oh, my God. But if y'all enjoyed this look at this amazing Land Cruiser Troopy, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all next time.